Hey, Source 357, we're back in Stata. Last time we learned two commands. One was use, which I'm kind of bypassing here by clicking open and selecting the DTA file I want to use. And Stata just enters that use command for me. The other command we learned before was tab. And that was one of the variables we looked at for sexual orientation. This time I want to show you a couple extra commands. So here's one. Instead of tab, I'm putting in table and sexual orientation again. Remember tab is short for tabulate, not table. So table is a different command. And it gives us a little less information and a little more. You can see tab gives you the percentages of who it gave each response, but and table doesn't give that to you. It just gives you the frequencies, the number of people who gave each response. But table also gives you people who answered with these three non-response categories. Don't know, is not applicable, or people who just simply did not answer. So table is another command you can use. Here's one more. This is probably the least useful one ever. List. List literally just lists out the answers of every single respondent. You can see there were 2,538 respondents. Most of them answered straight. This person didn't answer at all. As you scroll up, you can see this person's bisexual. This person said it's not applicable. Not the most useful. Let's say, though, you were looking at um, a variable like age. So I put in tab age. age of respondent. The youngest respondent is 18. There were six 18 year olds. All the way up to 89 or older. And I'm assuming that there were people who were in their 90s or even over 100 and they just got lumped in with the 89 and older category. It's not terribly useful to look at it this way. It might be more useful to try a different command, summarize. So here I just did summarize age, and then I hit enter. You can see there's 2,529 observations, so that's the number of people who answered, same as we saw up here. The mean age is a little over 49 years old. The standard deviation is about 17 and a half. The youngest person was 18, and the oldest person answered 89. And we know because we've looked over here that 89 actually means 89 and older. So um, summarize is another command you can use. And just like you can shorten tabulate to tab, you can shorten summarize to sum. Let's look at another variable. So remember we're looking at 2014 data. And at that time, the most recent presidential election was in 2012. If I do tab pres 12, I can see they were asked, did they vote for Obama or Romney? And there's four possible answers. Obama, Romney, I voted for somebody else. I didn't vote for president. Then I could do something like this. I could say tab political views, pres 12. show it to me in a row with percentages, and I don't actually need to see the frequencies. And so now I can see for each political persuasion, who did they vote for? So we're gonna start adding in a new type of command. We can start adding conditions. I've just pasted the same command here, but let's say I'm just only interested in women. I just want to find out what women voted for. The variable for sex is called sex. And now I'm in the code book. You can see male is coded to one, female is coded to two. I only want to see the females. So I'm going to say if sex equals sign equals sign two for females. Um, I know the General Social Survey doesn't have the most enlightened or inclusive views on sex and gender, so we're just limited to males and females 
without any accounting for gender identity and non-binary folks intersex um, but sticking with that if sex equals equals two and so now it is only showing us females you can see it changes up our percentages a little bit Obama got a slightly higher share of the vote than when we consider all genders or rather all sexes Females seem to break a little bit more for Obama than they did for Romney. We could also try doing that for males. So I'm just copy pasting here. And instead of sex equals two, sex equals equals one. And now it's showing us males. Let's say I wanted to just look at females again, like I was doing. And I actually really don't want to see this category, the people who didn't vote. They're not who I'm interested in because they were the ones who didn't vote. I can say if, there we go. If Pres12, this variable here, who voted for, who did you vote for president in 2012, is not equal to option four. So you'll remember that option one is Obama, two is Romney, other is three, and did not vote is coded as four. And I'm just adding more than one if condition here, and I'm using an and sign to combine them. So when I want to say if sex equals two, I use two equal signs. When I want to say is not equal to, I use an exclamation mark and then an equals. So that's is not equal to. So let's see what we get here. You can see it's dropped off that fourth category. So we said I don't want to see it if Pres12 is 4. I only want to see it if Pres12 is not 4. It gave it to us. And I only want to see females. And that is what it gave us. So we can combine together more than one if condition. There are two other little fancy tricks I want to show you with if. Let's say we want to find out only what young people voted for. We wanted to look at just under 25s. So I can say if age is less than or equal to 25. Okay, now it's just giving me young people. So less than or equal to 25. Or if I wanted to do it a different way, instead of saying less than or equal to 25, I can also just say less than 26, which will less than 26 is 25, 24, 23. So it's really the same as less than or equal to 25. And you can see it's giving us exactly the same data. All right, so just to review, we can use if to say is not equal to, we can also say if it is equal to, um, hmm. I don't really want to do sex because I've kind of done it here. Let's just say we're looking at straight people only. And I know that straight people are coded to three. I know that's the name of the variable. We can say we're only looking at young people less than or equal to 25. Okay. So now we're looking at, before we were looking at their political views, and who they voted for now we're looking at who they voted for and their sex but we're only looking at under 25s we're not looking at people who didn't vote and we're only looking at straight people and so now that's the data it's giving us so you can see you could use if is not equal to is equal to is less than or greater than less than e or equal to greater than or equal to um, and you can kind of just chain together as many of those as you'd like using and. 
So this is just a way you can add on to the commands we've already learned before. I think that is about it for now. I hope I have not thoroughly confused you, um, and I will meet you in the next video.